mix as being either Northern Chinese or Southern Chinese. Finally, Chinese ceramics have distinct characteristics depending on when they were made. Over the centuries, Chinese ceramics have changed and evolved as new methods of making them and designing their outsides were used. Even the earliest known samples, from thousands of years ago, have paintings or etchings on them. Of course, the type of design or picture has changed over time. Let me give you... Okay, what is this part about? This is the third way of um, categorizing Chinese ceramics, which is when they were made, okay? Over the years, over time, um, Chinese ceramics have changed and evolved, okay? And even the earliest known samples um, have paintings or etchings on them. Finally, Chinese ceramics have distinct characteristics depending on when they were made. They have distinct characteristics. What's a characteristic? Characteristic is something that makes something recognizable, okay? It's, uh, it's an important or interesting part of something that, that makes that thing recognizable. Depending on when they were made. What does that mean, depend on? If something depends on another, that another affects the something. You understand? If A depends on B, B affects A. Or B decides A. Over the centuries, Chinese ceramics have changed and evolved as new methods of making them and designing their outsides were used. Over the centuries, what does that mean? Over the centuries. It means during the centuries, all right? What is century? Century is 100 years. Cent means 100. There are 100 cents in one dollar. And 100 centimeters in one meter, okay? Cent means 100. Chinese ceramics have changed and evolved. What does evolve mean? Evolve means to gradually change and develop into a, um, a new form, okay? A new shape. As new methods of making them and designing their outsides were used. As new methods, what's a method? Method is a way of doing something. You understand? And designing their outside. What does design mean? Design means to uh, plan how to make something. Okay? Designing their outsides were used. Even the earliest known samples from uh, etchings on them. Even the earliest known samples. What's a sample? Sample is a small quantity of a thing, okay, which tells you what that thing is like, all right? It's a small quantity of things. From thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago means like 2,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago, but not 10,000, okay? And not 1,000 either, okay? Have paintings or etchings on them. What is etching? Etching is a printed picture from a metal plate, okay? Uh... And that metal plate, uh, a design or lines are cut off by acid or a sharp tool, okay? So you um, make the cutting with acid or a sharp tool on the uh, metal plate and you put ink and you um, print it. That's an etching. Or, like, if, if you cut that into the metal, that thing is etching too, okay? Of course, the type of design or picture has changed over time. What does that mean, over time? Over time means as time passed. Let's move on to the next part.
Of course, the type of design or picture has changed over time. Let me give you some examples of how ceramics have changed over time. At first, most Chinese ceramics were low-fired earthenware. Later, craftsmen discovered methods for creating higher temperatures, so they began making stoneware. Then, during the 9th century, a method for making pure white porcelain was discovered. And speaking of color, it may sometimes be an indicator of where a Chinese ceramic comes from. A ceramic's color often depends on the material used. Thus, the color can help pinpoint a geographic location in China where a ceramic was made, since that region may have a certain type of clay or other pottery-making material. Okay, what was this part about? This is about how ceramics have changed over time. Okay, at first the Chinese um, ceramics were low-fired earthenware, and later craftsmen discovered methods for creating higher temperatures. Okay, so they made, began making stoneware, and then in the ninth century. A method for making a pure white porcelain was discovered. And um, on top of that, uh, the professor is talking about um, the color. Okay, the color of the clay indicates where the Chinese ceramic uh, comes from. Okay, came from. Okay. Because the color depends on the material used and all the uh, areas have different kinds of material. So um, the color depends on, uh, the color is decided by where the material was, um, where they got the material. You understand? Let me give you some examples of how ceramics have changed over time. At first, most Chinese ceramics were low-fired earthenware. Later, craftsmen discovered methods for creating higher temperatures, so they began making stoneware. Later, craftsmen... What's that? Craftsmen is a person who has a very high quality skill to make things with their hands, okay? Discovered methods for creating higher temperatures, so they began making stoneware. Then, during the 9th century, a method for making pure white porcelain was discovered. During the 9th century. When is the 9th century? It's 800 something, you understand? When is the 1st century? 1st century is from year 1 to Year 100, second year, second um, century is when, from 101 to 200, do you understand? So, 9th century is 800 something. A method for making pure white porcelain. What does pure mean? Oh my goodness. Pure means something um, which is not mixed by anything else, okay? White porcelain was discovered. And speaking of color, what does that mean? Speaking of color, that means uh, to speak of color. Okay. Um, if I sp if I talk about the color, okay. When I talk about the color, it may sometimes be an indicator of where a Chinese ceramic comes from. It sometimes it may sometimes be an indicator. What does indicator mean? What does indicate mean? Indicate means to show something. Indicator is something that shows something. Okay? A ceramic's color often depends on the material used. Thus, the color can help pinpoint a geographic location in China where a ceramic was made since that region may have a certain type of clay or other pottery making material. Okay? Thus, the color can help pinpoint. What does that mean? Pinpoint means to find the exact location, okay? Or show the exact location. It's like pointing with a pin, okay? It's that accurate. 
pinpoint a geographic location in China where a ceramic was made since that region may have what does that mean since since is the same as because okay since that region may have a certain type of clay or other pot pottery making material you get that let's move on to the question what aspect of Chinese ceramics does the professor mainly discuss? What aspect? He's talking about how they are categorized, right? The temperature. Uh, what else? The location, okay? Where it comes from and um, when they were made, okay? What aspect of Chinese ceramics? So the, ma the manner in which they are categorized. The manner. What is manner? Manner is the way. The way in which they are categorized. Let's look at other options. A. The process commonly used to make them. The process commonly used. What does commonly mean? It means often. Normally. All right. What is pro process? Process is a series, a series of action to achieve a certain result. Okay. So the professor is not talking about the process. B. The styles utilized to design early ceramics. The styles utilized. What does utilize mean? Utilize means to use, okay? The styles used to design early ceramics. It's not talking about the styles to uh, design early ceramics. C. Porcelain and how it was first created. The professor talked about the porcelain, but this was not the main topic, okay? And how it was first created, okay? He talked about um, uh, the craftsman discovering a way of making porcelain. When, when was that? Ninth century? Yeah, ninth century. In the lecture, the professor describes a number of facts about Chinese ceramics. Indicate whether each of the following is a fact about Chinese ceramics. Fact or not a fact. Was used exclusively by the upper classes. What does exclusive mean? It means um, only by someone and not by anyone else. Okay, exclusive means that. So it was not right because um, all classes of people can afford it. So it's not a fact. Has existed longer than any other ceramics industry, industry in the world. Did it say uh, eight? Chinese have the world's longest lasting ceramics industry. It goes back roughly 18,000 years. So this is a fact. Can be divided into ceram ceramics from two separate regions. Yeah. What is the region? The two regions, the northern and the southern. And what is the uh, standard for uh, dividing them? It's the uh, Yellow River and the Yangtze River. So this is a fact. Four was first created by making pots fired at very high temperatures. First, they made uh, earthenwares, which were fired at low temperatures. So this is not a fact. You get that? 